Bargains, fantastic buys. So pink camellia have come on really well, and uh, any any ones that have just gone over in the wet because we've had a lot of rain, I just put round the little fountain for the minute. Look like lotus flowers. Thank you. 
So I've just been to a local garden centre, David's Nurseries it was used to be called, and now it's called Cherry Orchard David's, because everybody still calls it David's. And uh, I bought a few little things, a rhubarb plant, some broad beans, and some sweet peas. So I'm just gonna start putting in the plants that I've got and uh, see how I get on. I'm still worried about those slugs, you know. They're on my mind whether I should bother or not, but. Uh, so far in the last few weeks a bit of sunlight has brought out the tulips and some of the daffodils that are growing so there's hope yet so i'll just show you This is part of my loot from the garden centre, broad bean plants, and it says plant in the cool part of the day to uh, prevent shock. Well, it's quite cool today, and these are outside, so I'm hoping they'll be fine. So I've just done a few shallow little holes in the ground. Not really got the best tool out, but hey. And what I will say is the other day from Creative explained the guy who's on facebook he said uh you don't have to keep buying rose bushes because i've got rose bushes all over the place that i've planted he said make sure you've got three leaf stems at the top snip the bottom this is off a normal plant so as long as you've got three leaves take a stem take any leaves off snip the bottom and then put a cut through that diagonal snip on the stem dip it in honey and then put it into the ground, which I've done here, here, and over in various places. And I'm hoping these rose bushes take off. So we will see. Last few to go in. I'll have to find supports for these when I figure them up. There's only this for this few here. So there they are, they're in. I've got some strawberry plants that somebody gave me. I don't know how they're going to take. I've got bits of weed in between, so I never know which is weed and which isn't half the time, but hey, we will see. The things start to grow, you can tell then a bit better, can't you? So I hope you enjoyed that little planting session. 
Here's one of the other little roses I put in when I got the three stems the other week when it was raining. And another one here and dip them in honey and they look pretty strong. So we will see. Might take a while, but uh, I'll let you see the results. Just finally got my uh, rhubarb plant in. It was pot bound right down the bottom, so I had to split the pot. So it's in now. So uh, we'll see if we can have some nice rhubarb crumbles come a few months' time. I thought I'd start today with saying I hope you're having a good week. And uh, I saw my friend the other day and she came along to my house and she said, did I want some of her little clarin samples? Now, I throw anything on my face normally. I go through phases where I don't want to spend any money, so I'll get a 99p Nivea. Or I'll go to uh, Aldi or Lidl and get their creams, Lacura or CN. And then I find, oh, they're too thick, the creams, and are they doing anything? So I'll go to Boots and I'll buy collagen and hyaluronic acid and slap that on my face but every time my friend comes uh, she says her mom always buys clarins or shiseido i think and they tend to stick with clarins and she gave me these little samples this is a micellar rose water i think it was rose oh, let me see micellar cleansing micellar water no it's not rose lovely though this is um a biserum intensify multi-hydrate so it's hydroquench intensive serum biphase now uh, that I splash on when I when I've just had my make take my makeup off and there's all these little samples she gives me and they're just absolutely gorgeous but the most important one she got me I've used it it's upstairs um was something I think called blue orchid and I'm going to show you because I decided to go to Amazon and see if they had any Clarins items didn't want to start going into Worcester and finding a shop with Clarins because they don't have it locally. Um, parking up and spending more parking. So I just thought, well, I'll see if Amazon do it. And they do, because Amazon's great, isn't it? And uh, la -de da they had on a particular website. I did a comparison and this one came up. So I'll put the link below if you're interested. And it came up with several things in here. The main one, the one that is making me sleep like a baby, so this comes in a little bag. The main one in this bag, which was what I was going to buy just on its own, is this. Blue Orchid Treatment Oil. Now the sample my friend gave me was tiny, but I tell you what, I was thinking, it's got like a geranium smell to the oil. If you know what geranium is, it's a beautiful smell. And uh, I just can't believe that this is such a big size. Some of them were more expensive just on their own on the websites that I looked at. But this is a big one, 30 millilitres. And uh, it comes with other things in the bag, in the box. So, five items. Yes, the micellar water, which I was talking about a minute ago. Oh, it's, what does it say? It's got, with alpine golden... I don't know what that says, gentian, gentian, and lemon balm extracts. So that's quite a big one if you look at the sizing. This is a primer, which I could do with, because I haven't got a primer for makeup. My makeup slides off unless I put a primer on. Uh, this is a nice fragrance a lovely fragrance fresh i love a well i love a citrusy smell i don't know really, i normally put it on my clothing because they say don't put things on your skin but hey oh that is fresh i thought it was meant to be uh, to keep your makeup uh, secure but it's not it's just a la le parfum et l'action des plantes i hope i'm saying that correctly oh Dynamiso, dynamiso, like dynamite water, is it? Dynamiso, it's full of vitality. Hey, 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 right. And this one is SOS Comfort, a balm, a nourishing balm mask with wild mango butter. So I look forward to putting that on and you wash it off. So nice little 
box of delights. So I thought, just up your game, Jo. You're nearly 60. You're on the roller coaster road. So start to, you know, treat yourself to think a bit more than 99p Vin Nivea. Although I do like Nivea. <laughs> it is creamy, but is it actually sinking in those layers that I need it to go? But yeah, I thought I'd share that. And I've not noticed on other channels that they don't mention Clarins. They mention everybody else, but uh, Clarins has been going for a long time. And uh, it's one of those products that I think uh, will never go out of the shops. It won't be a one-night wonder, let's put it that way. So I just thought I'd share that with you, and I'll pop on later with something else. See Quick soon. plug, I nearly forgot. My son's playing in his band in October. If anybody's in the area, check them out. An indie band called Paradise Circus. You might find them if you look up Paradise Circus UK. So, yeah, 12th of October, up and coming, Scruff of the Neck are uh, promoting it on www.paradisecircusuk.com and uh, you'll find tickets on www.ticketmaster.co.uk. Right for that. Outfit of the day for a little trip out to the shops is a little gold jacket I was given from a friend and it's got this lovely gold braid through. It's a minuet jacket, old denim skirt. I think I got this belt recently from Mango. Tights from H&M, which are, uh, I bought them at Christmas and they've got a lovely uh, cashmere blend through them. So they're nice and warm. Necklace from Mango. Earrings from a shop called Pre-Loved. I think they cost me three pounds, probably less, knowing me. And uh, got my glasses on, which are prescription glasses for when I go in the car. So all ready to go. Oh, little, at the moment, uh, House of Brewer, real sheepskin slippers, which I've got stained from the kitchen, but hey, I'll be wearing my boots in a minute. So off to the shops and then out, on, which is very unusual for me, to a friend's house. She's invited some ladies for dinner. So great day all round for a Friday. Happy Friday, folks. And a Bowden Mac to finish it off. Happy Friday. I just love a bit of home bargains. Some fantastic buys. 